So in this video tutorial we will learn about how to use the circular progress bar within ch.net. The compiler which we are using is the Microsoft Visual Studio. First of all you must know that circular bar is not the built-in part of uh, Visual Studio. Okay. So you have to download its NuGet package. Okay. So first we will create our project and then we will do the rest of the thing. So go to new and click on project here. CH Windows, Windows Forms application and here we can write the name as CIR or anything. Click OK and our project window has been created. Now we will take our OK. Now you can see that I have already added the circular progress bar, but but this is not uh, in your okay, uh, in your CH not that why it is so because first you you have to like uh, go to uh, NuGet, go to project, and you need to write manage NuGet packages, and you have to write like this okay and here we will write circular progress bar okay circular progress bar and uh, you 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 can install anyone anything okay anyone circular progress bar windows form control circular progress bar this thing okay maybe it, it is not in it is not compatible with my okay okay so so i have like this thing and this and this okay loading circle okay now i have installed this one okay loading circle and this is also working for me so now i have installed so okay then then i need to go to like a toolbox then to general right click on general go to choose items and here we will go to browse and here our dll is inside the documents okay where documents and visual studio 2013 projects windows cir cir and wet packages are where this thing libraries and this is okay circular progress bar so, so you need to open it out it's already in my system so i just again uh, again like uh, edit it out okay now we will go to again to toolbox we will take our circular progress bar okay now it is very much big it is it is very very big okay so what we need to do is to like uh, we will change its uh, Phones to 16 okay uh, still it is very very big okay we, we will go to text and we will go to fonts okay we will go to fonts and we will write like a uh, 16 is enough 16 is enough okay 16 is and now we can change its color we can change its color uh, we can go and change its color to green okay so this is so uh, now we will double click on it and we will write circular progress bar circular progress bar dot value is equal to 40 is equal to 40 means that we are adjusting its value to 40 so now whenever we will click on it it will go to 40 it will go to 40 and if we want like if we want to control it with some push button then we can go and we can take one push button and we will write circular progress bar dot value inside it as uh 80 okay so when i i will click because circular progress bar one underscore click is the function for click on the circular progress bar 
and push button one underscore click is the function it will invoke when we will click the push button okay so click on start okay now when i used to click on circular progress bar it goes to 40 and when i used to click on push button one it goes to 80 so 40 and 80 so in this way you can use this circular progress bar all sort of your comments will be answered is up to my knowledge so feel free to comment down and thanks for visiting our channel